Hello all, Four Player Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guard series. So I'm Arl, is a level 53 dungeon, which is part of the main story quest line and is featured during the quest, Morning Passing. The quest giver is Alphano in the Dravanian Forelands. Welcome to the second dungeon of Heaven's Ward, so without further ado, let's dive into the guard. We can start this duty heading up the path and clearing the first set of ads we come across. You can group these ads with the next set if you are confident. The Drake Spur will continuously spawn pollen clusters that explode and poison any party member within melee range of them. Focus the Drake Spur first and clear the rest of the ads. Being mindful of the frontal cone AoEs from the Flying Killer and Blooming Ochus. Head further up the path and deal with the Drake Spurs as before. It is recommended to deal with the ads group by group in this area as to avoid becoming overwhelmed by pollen clusters and damage from the numerous enemies. Once you have cleared the area, the path will open and you can progress towards the first boss fight. The first boss is Raskovnik. We start this fight as normal with the main tank gaining enmity and facing the boss away from the party, whilst the rest of the party deals damage as normal. We need to avoid the circular AoEs from Acid Rain that deal moderate damage and debuff party members hit with poison, dealing damage over time. After a short while, the boss will use Sweet Scent, summoning some Hornet adds. These will not attack the party, however if they reach Raskovnik and get eaten, then the boss's damage will increase with every Hornet eaten. It is recommended to kill them as they spawn, hopefully they won't keep you too buzzy. Raskovnik will also mark a player with an unusual yellow marker. After a brief delay, the player will be stunned and dragged towards the boss, straight into a point blank AoE Flower Devour. You have plenty of time to simply run out of this AoE, however if this hits any of the Hornets then Raskovnik will gain the stacking damage increase buff. Simply pile on the damage and kill the Hornets when you can. Avoid the AoEs and you will soon be on your way. Pick up your loot and proceed into the next area. Make your way through the caves, killing the small groups of ads you come across. When you reach the Sacred Drakes, focus these down avoiding the frontal cone AoEs and the circular AoEs from the Pyro Dragon lurking in the background. Avoid standing in the lava puddles left behind as it will deal further damage over time. Deal damage to the dragon and at around 50% health it will fly away and the path will now be clear for us to progress. Clear the next adds, pick up the loot from the treasure copper and clear the next area, again avoiding the circular AoEs from the cryo dragon. Instead of lava pools, this dragon will leave behind ice boulders. These will spawn glacier sprouts if left alone, so we must focus these down quickly to avoid more adds spawning. Once the adds are clear, deal damage again to the cryo dragon who will also run away. Progress up the path, clearing the next set of wandering adds and opening the treasure copper. Then get ready for boss fight number 2. Myath is our second boss. We can start this fight as normal with the tank gaining enmity and facing it away from the party, with the rest of the party dealing damage as normal. At around 75% health, Myath will use Primordial Roar. This ability deals unavoidable area-wide damage and spawns lots of red and blue blobs. Myath will jump to pick up a blob if they are not killed and depending on the colour, the party must act accordingly. If Myath picks up a red blob, the party must stack on the player with a red marker to share the damage. If Myath picks up a blue blob, the party member marked with a blue marker must stand alone and take the brunt of the damage. You can kill the blobs before Myath gets a chance to pick them up. If you plan on doing this, kill the blue blobs, as the red deal much less damage when shared between the party. Eventually, Myath will use Primordial Roar again and summon more blobs, including a much larger green blob. The Chime of the Mountain must be focused down. It will be cast in last song which if allowed to go off will deal huge area-wide damage to the party. The whole party needs to prioritise killing the charm before the cast completes. After this has been killed, deal with the red and blue blobs as before. Keep up the damage and Myath will have sung his last song. Pick up your loot and proceed. Once in the new area, clear the two deep mountain Gallimimuses, avoiding their frontal cone and circular AoE. Head up the stairs and clear the sacred bias, again watching out for their frontal cone. Once the boulder has been removed, you can kill the deep mountain wyvern waiting for you. I recommend killing this wyvern on top of the stairs where it spawns. Do not take it further into the area ahead, as this will lead to more enemies to contend with all at once. Stun or avoid fireball circular AoE. Kill the wyvern and then progress. In the next area, you will be greeted by the ergo dragon, and also the crypto and pyro dragons from earlier targeting the party with their circular AoEs as before. Avoid the lava puddles and kill the ice boulders, stopping more adds from spawning, whilst dealing damage to the Ergo Dragon. Once the Ergo Dragon is down, you will now have to kill both the wounded Pyro and Cryo Dragon, finishing them off for good this time. Head up the remaining stairs and you can collect the two treasure coffers to the east if you want, or head up to start the final boss fight. Enjoy the short cutscene.
Tier Man is our final boss. We can start this fight as normal with the main tank gain enmity of the boss and the party dealing damage as normal. Tier Man has a frontal elemental cleave that deals large damage called Abyssic Buster. Only the tank should get hit by this. Tier Man will also use Chaos Blast, which is a multiple circular AoE at all party members and will also place a 5 pointed star pattern of column AoEs on the position of the blast. All of these AoEs should be dodged accordingly. After a short while, the boss will cast Comet. This will bombard the area with AoE circles in random positions and mark two of the non-tank party members with a green marker. It is recommended for these party members to stack together, ideally on the exact same position or at least on the same side of the fight area. Soon after, they will leave behind proximity based damage markers where the party members were once stood. The party now needs to get as far away from these markers as possible to reduce the damage taken. After another round of Chaos Blast and at 50% health, Tier Man will recenter and call us all arrogant insects. Very rude. Tier Man will be invulnerable during this phase and we must destroy her wings, and her player will be marked with an orange marker for Heaven's Fall. This unavoidable low damage single target ability can basically be ignored, but be aware of the following AoE circles that spawn randomly around that player, dealing higher damage. During the wing phase, Tier Man can also cast Dark Star, an unavoidable area wide moderate damage ability, however this can be interrupted by destroying either wing. After the wing phase, we resume the fight as normal with all the aforementioned mechanics. Comet, however, will target all three non-tank party members for the rest of the fight. Make sure to point Tier Man away from the party to avoid the elemental cleave, avoid the AoE circles and columns from Comet and keep up the damage, and you will have completed some Al. And there you have it, some Al is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this trial a difficulty rating 2 out of 5 swords. The duty is not very challenging as long as you take each group of ads one at a time and position well during the final boss. The special loot for this duty includes the Woad Sky Weaponry, I level 130, Woad Sky Armor and Jewelry, I level 130, the Gaily Cat Minion, the Slumber Eternal Orchestrian Roll, and the Tier Man card. Remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. Next up is the Airy. We are 4 Player Squad Gaming. Thanks for watching.